Hi guys, uh, welcome to my workshop. I'm John, I'm a blacksmith, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a frying pan. So we've got the 20 mil round bar, gonna heat it up in the forge, and then we'll take it out once it's hot, go to the power hammer, and I'll draw it out. So now the bar's good and hot, we're gonna take it over to the power hammer, we're going to neck it out, I'll show you the pan, to reduce it in size here. I've then got a tool that I've made for the power hammer, which will put this rib in the bottom, and it will start the process of spreading these cheeks out so that I can put a rivet in either side. We'll then neck this out, go back to the power hammer, another heat, draw the handle out, it'll have a gentle taper on it, and eventually we'll come back to the anvil and finish it by hand with a hand hammer. So I've got a spring tool, uh, top and bottom sway, uh, to reduce the neck on the 20 mil round bar, which creates that. Basically, we've separated the material, we've reduced it in thickness in the middle. This is the handle portion, which will be flattened out and reduced further later. But what we've got is a, 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 a mass of steel on the end which I can produce the plate which rivets to the pan. So back to the forge, got a new heat, and now we're gonna put the plate in. And what we've got now is we've got a square rib on the end with two cheats coming out. These will now be drawn out on the anvil to make them a bit wider to accept the rivet for connection to the pan. And what that's doing is it's bringing this wider so we can now get a rivet in there. I'll do the other side. We've achieved this part of the handle. We're now going to turn our attention to this end for a minute. So I'm going to draw this out, flatten in it with a slight taper um, and put a bit of shape in it. We'll come back to this later on and uh, maybe grind it, shape it, drill it, ready for fixing to the pan. Okay, so at the other end of the handle, got it nice and hot. Going to go back to the power hammer change the tooling around. I'm going to draw this down so it's flat with a slight taper, hopefully, and uh, we might come back to the anvil and pan finish it. So there we've got the handle flattened out. I'll finish this bit on the anvil. It's a bit uh, easier than doing it under the power hammer. Uh, but we're gonna need another heat for that. So now we wanna stretch this out, thin it slightly on this way, turn it into a bit of a square. Turn the proportion we did first, the round piece, turn that into a square to match the piece on the back of the fixing plate and basically turn it into a handle. Okay, so we've drawn it out, got it hot again, got a nice taper, we're going to wrap it around uh, into a loop. Right, before I forget, I'm going to put my mark in there, or touch mark, stamp, logo, whatever you want to call it.
Now we can put a bit of shape in this block for the handle. Took it to the grinder, cleaned up the edges, just smoothed it up any over forgings from uh, the power hammer press, pressing at the beginning. Um, now I'll take it to the wire wheel, brush it up so it's really shiny. Uh, it's easier to get that done at this stage. Uh, and then we'll rivet it to the pan. Obviously the frying pan is of two parts. This is the bowl. It's a disc of uh, three mil steel, uh, which we'll put under a fly press and some jigs and tools that I've made, some pressing tools, formers, uh, to get the shape. And there's the base to the frying pan. We've shaped the handle, we've cleaned it, now, I've centre punched it, a couple of marks, just going to drill it. I'll then mark the pan where I want it to fit and we'll rivet it on. And then we should have a finished frying pan.